So welcome to the Physics Department. My name's Susan Mile. I'm Head of Physics here at Rugby High School. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the A-Level course. Um, so first of all, if you're watching this and you're thinking about doing A-Level Physics, I wonder if you actually know what physics is. Um, you've been studying it for years, but actually it's pretty hard to put it into a nutshell. If it's biology, it's to do with living things. If it's to do with chemistry, it's to do with materials. Um, so I suppose physics really is the understanding and the explanation of everything we see around us in the universe. And as we get towards A-level, those laws and um, rules that govern the, our universe become more and more mathematical. So as we get into A-level then, your physics becomes more mathematical. In fact, 70% of the syllabus is actually mathematical. So the first question a lot of students want to know is, should I be studying A-level maths to do physics? The answer is you don't have to, but it certainly helps your confidence. Um, what we basically will be doing is grade seven plus GCSE maths on a daily basis. So in the first few weeks, I will be expecting you to use trigonometry, Pythagoras, drawing graphs, interpreting graphs, so y equals mx plus c, and um, using perhaps the sine rule and the cosine rule. So we're using advanced GCSE maths constantly. Um, we do use some maths that is A-level only, but if you're not doing A-level maths, we will teach you it. Um, it is worth noting, by the way, that if you are wanting to study physics to go on to do physics at university, or maybe physics um, with engineering, then maths is essential and no degree course will take you for physics unless you have got A-level maths. And for the more top universities, they, they would be looking at further maths as well. So um, if you're thinking about studying physics, it can lead you into an awful lot of interesting careers. So you can obviously go into engineering um, and obviously physics and physics teaching, but computer game design is really looking for people now who have um, physics because they need their simulations to look as realistic as possible. So they're pulling um, graduates from physics, um, sometimes more so than computing. Um, physics is a great qualification because it shows that you have um, mathematical skills, you have logical skills, you've got problem solving skills, and you've also got practical skills. So going into um, finance and banking, um, is again um, a multi-skilled job where physics looks really great on your CV. Um, now obviously you can go into medical physics. Um, there are an awful lot of machines in this country in hospitals which are maybe not being used because we don't actually have as many medical physicists as we should be. So there's a great career opportunity there as well. So the syllabus we do at um, Rugby High School is edXL. And you also get a practical endorsement. So you get um, a grade at the end of two years. We don't sit AS exams. We only sit A levels. So your three exams that you will you will um, finish at the end of the two year course will give you your grade um, A, B, C, etc. Um, and then you also get what's called a practical endorsement and you get um, teacher assessed that and it is a pass or fail. And that's the same for all A-level sciences. Um, so to help you with the course, um, we will offer you some textbooks. So um, we have something called Isaac Physics and there is a textbook that goes with the course and um, we can um, we use those very regularly. Um, so in terms of entry requirements, um, I've said about the maths being high level. The entry requirements do actually say a minimum of a grade six, but that's kind of there to catch you if you have a bad day on the exam. Um, if you are not regularly performing at grade seven and above in, in maths, you will find the maths that we do in A-level physics quite challenging. The same with the sciences, really. Again, the entry requirements are um, three sixes if you're doing triple at GCSE or two sixes if you're doing combined. And again, if if that's something that you are struggling to achieve, then again, you're probably going to find physics quite um, a challenge. Any other questions that you've got, please do um, drop me an email and I'll be able to answer them. Okay.